Well, my name is D. Zioga Wilson. I'm the Minister of Youth and Sports of the Republic of Liberia. Since uh, February 2018, I'm the first Minister of Youth and Sports of the CDC-led government. Well, uh, I think the protocol because of COVID uh, is something that is noticeable. And it's, it's, it, I mean, it's understanding why uh, that is ongoing. And uh, I just believe that uh, from what I see, given the pandemic and the preparation, uh, had there not been a pandemic, I think Japan would have actually light up. And because the games are going well, uh, despite the challenges with the pandemic, and I think they've prepared sufficiently. Unfortunately, they are unable to display out of what they put in there, but just the opening ceremony, what they did during the opening ceremony was, was, was great. Well, I mean, um, we all try to take precaution and follow the protocol. Uh, for Liberia, the protocol requires that uh, we have spectators at the at sporting event, but not at full capacity, and they must observe the health protocol. And so that has been going well thus far. Uh, I think their organization around the protocol, especially at the airport, the port of entry, is great. And I hope that something, uh, I'm a member of the Special Presidential uh, Advisory Committee on COVID in Liberia. And I think uh, during our next meeting, I will share some of the experience because the port of entry is very important. And what I see at a port of entry we may not match their system and their technology, but at least we should be able to do more and uh, help you preventing the spread of the pandemic. That's something I'll take back home. Uh, we have meeting Mondays, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'll be home Monday. I will miss the meeting, but Wednesday meeting definitely I will share my Japan experience with my colleagues. Well, the fact that every step of the way at the airport, you don't cut corners. You follow the protocol straight there. In fact, uh, I was, I mean, at one point, I gave my COVID test result. They saw it, but they wanted some documentation, and fortunately, I had it on my phone because they were not accepting the way we do our COVID test. But then the Minister of Health had filled out a form and sent it to me via WhatsApp. So when I showed them that form, I said, Oh, this is what we're looking for. And you know, so, and then after we left that, after doing the test, we went to another station. Everything was just a way that you just can beat the system to make it, to just put it in, 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 in a simple way. And I think it's good because if you carry all the check and balances at the airport, you are able to help prevent the spread of the pandemic because of these measures. And I think that's something. I can take my home and just share with my colleagues. Maybe at our airport, we need to be more stringent about it because we've complained at times about some things that go on. But when you travel and see other things that are good, then you take it back so that others can be great. And because uh, there have been a lot of transformation on the sporting side in Liberia since this government came uh, to being, and they are all noticeable. Uh, for instance, Liberia participated for the first time in the Special Olympics. Special Olympics are meant for people with disability. And we took four athletes and brought back five medals. Four gold medals and one bronze medal. It was great. Today, our football is transforming in terms of infrastructure. Prior to this government, we had the Antoinette Tottenham Stadium and the Summit Pine the Sports Complex. There were other football fields around, but they were not up to standard. Today, in addition to the two fields, you have the two south fields that have been fully turf. It's a mini stadium that was not a stadium at all, if you knew two south fields in Gallonsville. The Samuel Kayando Sports Complex practice field has been transformed to a mini stadium. The Doris Williams Sports Stadium in Grand Basso County has been turf. Now, Nima County, we have a mini stadium as well as Bone County. 
So all of these things will tell you that football is developing. One. Secondly, we have today a fully functional female league. The female team, in fact, we have our team now, Dream Girl in Kipver, participating in the Waffle Tournament. We have Honor 17, I mean, Honor 15, league now in Liberia. Our Honor 15 team participating in, uh, in the Waffle Tournament as well in several league. And for the first time in our country, we have Honor 15 league. They are district league. So football is developing for that, I mean, at that level. You come to basketball as well. Since we had a new leadership, basketball is not coming back uh, to, to where it used to be before. And you have our various teams that participate in fact, the Paralympic team is expected here next week. Uh, I think about if the next week, I believe they, they, they should be coming. We have our RPT will be going to a competition as well. And the deaf and dumb, they are participating in the competition. So all of these things are showing good trend that the Ministry of Youth and Sports is not just a football ministry, but a ministry of sports. That other events are taking place. We have our athletic team will be going uh, to Cameroon uh, sometime in August. So we are doing our best to make sure that uh, we develop the game and for the graduate level. That's what's important, especially the Library Football Association. They are very much engaged in graduate sports, and that's how the talent. And then we are having all the football facility. There is this uh, invincible park that has been constructed. If you knew where the IE used to practice on the FE, mm-hmm. it's been transformed into invincible park. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then that will be a recreation center for young people as well. There is also uh, plans to have a whole recreation center behind the barracks. Okay, BMC won the bidding, they're going to have a large sporting facility there. Basketball, football, long tennis, table tennis, all behind that. So with all of these facilities that are in the Pueblo, those that have been developed. It tells you that Liberia is going somewhere. You know, it's not that we are stagnant, just stuck one play, but there have been great improvement. The new Liberia Football Association leadership, Honor Mustafa Raji is doing a tremendous job. And so I think I think our football is heading, or our sport, should I say, is heading in the right direction. And today here yeah, in Tokyo, we got three athletes, though, though not much, but the world is watching. And uh, they are great athletes, and uh, we are rooting for them. The country is behind them. And I hope Labrador can win a first ever gold medal in Tokyo Olympic. Yes. So this is the thing, this is how sports is being run. Um, the Ministry of Youth and Sports is the policy of the government. The various federations implement government policy on the, at the, for, the, for the specific discipline. Say, for instance, the Labrador Football Association implement government policy on football. The same with basketball, with athletics, kickball, what have you. So it is up to the various federations to go out there and seek sponsorship. The Labrador Football Association is doing well with that. They got Orange, they're sponsoring them. They are league, you got Dodge Bell, and they got uh, Green Petroleum, and other companies that are sponsoring them. So each of the federation has a responsibility to go out there and seek sponsorship from the business community. Now for the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the biggest sporting event in our country is the National County Sports Meet. And we do get lots of sponsors for the National Council Sports Meet because that's the biggest sporting event in the country. I know you have followed the National Council Sports Meet. So we go out there and seek for sponsorship. So it is the responsibility of each federation to go out there and seek sponsorship for the specific discipline. Okay. Well, the Invincible Park, uh, probably by the end of the year, that park should be ready. Um, the the uh, Reputation Center for the BTC area. A company just won a bid, the BMC. So we are hoping that should be sometime next year, it should be up and running. Absolutely. You know, uh, as a sports person, we are a team player. And so our team mentality is what I bring to administration. Work as a team. I'm not alone in the Ministry of Youth and Sports. I may be the minister, 
by the other people that I work with. And that's the team spirit. When I play soccer, I used to be the goalkeeper. I played for Michael Burrow, I played for the national team, the long stuff. And that teamwork, that's why I got to go. In fact, a couple of days ago, I sent our athletes a little inspirational uh, message. I sent them a picture of myself in 1988 when I was on the national team and Liberia played Ghana Black Stars. The entire country was looking up to us, to beat Black Stars. There was immense pressure on us. But what carried us through, at the time the current president was the captain of our team, what carried us through was we were determined, we were focused, and we were committed to meeting the game. So I sent a message to our athlete here to say, look, I know the pressure that is on you now. The country is looking up to you. But just stay focused. Be committed and be determined. And like we were able to defeat Black Star, we pull it up. I sure they can do the same thing too. So that's the message I sent to them. So my job I do, my football, the concept always follow me. And even the president in cabinet meeting, he tells us that too. He said, today you got a team. You're 11 on the field. They are substitute. If you don't perform on the team, we take you out and bring somebody from the bench to come on the team. Yeah, <laughs> so we, we try to bring the football analogy, analogy into what we do. Because that's our passion. That's where we come from. The Ministry of Youth and Sports only get involved in federation when it comes to the national team. The local leagues are strictly run by the Federal Federation. And for the national team, they are being managed by the local federation. Like we were at LNOC, we have to manage our athletes. LFA manage the national team football, basketball, the basketball federation. Mm -hmm. They get the coaches, they do the recruiting, we don't get involved. Mm -hmm. Our job as a government, as a ministry, is to provide the funding. That's all we do. Mm -hmm. But the recruitment is up to the coaches. We don't get involved, we do our job. Because if I contracted you to do a piece of job, and I'm interfering into your job, and you don't perform, how do I come with clear conscience and say, I'm going to terminate you? Mm -hmm. I'm interfering, so we don't get involved in that. It's done by the Federation. So that's the question. My friend, I'm going to talk about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? Well, my mother come from Lofa County, and so I just love Tobogi. <laughs> <laughs>